Welcome to Virtual Pathfinder YouTube channel. This video is about imaging Jupiter using a Skywatcher EvoStar 72ED refractor telescope using two methods. First by shooting a video and then stacking the video frames in Lynchios. The second method was performed by shooting a single image using the high resolution mode in the mirrorless camera Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. Of course, several such high resolution images can also be stacked, which would improve the image quality further. One should note that such images are very large in size. In this video I will only look at a single high resolution image. I may stack a few of them in another video to see how much that will improve image quality. Regardless which method is used, some effort in post-processing is required to reduce noise. A few words about the rig. The telescope used was a Skywatcher EvoStar 72ED which has 72mm aperture. The F number is 6 and it has 420 mm focal length. In this setup a 25 times Barlow lens was used. A mirrorless Micro Four Thirds camera was attached using a T adapter. A Vixen Polari star tracker was used to track the planet. Without further ado, let's have a look at the contents of this video. First we will have a look at a video clip from which frames were extracted and stacked. Then we will have a look at the stacking result, the final image after post-processing. Then we will move on to look at Olympus high resolution mode, how it works. I will show a sample high resolution image of the moon. Then we will have a look at the viewing conditions when capturing Jupiter using the high resolution mode. We will have a look at the result when capturing the high resolution image of Jupiter. Then I will make a side by side comparison between the two methods. Finally I will show the results when attempting to capture Mars the same evening. This short video clip was used to stack frames in Lynchios, which is an open source program for Mac computers. As you can see it's quite noisy, but the cloud bands are clearly visible. This video is cropped to magnify Jupiter a bit. Here is the resulting image after stacking about 700 frames. Compared to the video clip there is a lot more details visible, but I think it could possibly be further improved if I had been going through all the frames and discarded the ones with low image quality. I didn't have the time to do that, so this image is an average of all the frames in the clip. The camera used in this video is a mirrorless Micro Four Thirds camera, Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. This model has a special feature called high resolution mode, which enables shots with up to 64 megapixel images using a 16 megapixel sensor. That is achieved by shifting the position of the sensor half a pixel in the vertical and horizontal direction in a special pattern, creating eight images, which are then merged into one 64 megapixel image. The requirement when using this feature is that the imaged object is relatively static, otherwise it is not possible to create a seamless merged image out of the 8 frames. If there is motion in the image, there will be artifacts such as pixel mismatch in those frames. Since this rig uses a star tracker to follow the relative motion of celestial objects, those appear almost static in the camera. In other words, high resolution mode can be used. 
as an example of a high resolution image, here is a shot of the moon through a different telescope, a Celestron C90 Mark. When comparing this image to ordinary photos or videos, the resolution is much higher and there are more nuances in the image. Although this is a single shot, the details in the image goes all the way down to the optical resolution of the telescope which is objects on the moon down to about 3 kilometers in diameter. This is a short video clip showing the viewing conditions when the high resolution image was captured. The image is cropped and shows quite a lot of noise. Here is a cropped and post-processed high-resolution image of Jupiter. The noise in the image has been reduced by averaging neighboring pixels. That makes the image look better at the same time as it reduces the resolution to some extent. An alternative would be to instead stack these high-resolution images and average each pixel over time instead. That would maintain the resolution of the original image. In this video I only use a single high resolution image. When looking at the results of the two methods side by side, one can see that there are pros and cons with each image. For instance, the stacked image clearly has a lot more details visible than the higher resolution image. But at the same time, the high resolution image appears to have more nuances and look more three-dimensional than the stacked image. Although I like the level of detail in the stacked image, it looks kind of two-dimensional and a bit unreal. Maybe the best compromise would be to stack a few high resolution images to get more details. That would increase contrast and sharpness and still provide more nuances. Since the signal-to-noise ratio is improved by a magnitude of the square root of the number of frames when stacking, it would probably be a significant improvement with just a few stacked frames. It is not necessary with hundreds, since stacking has diminishing returns. 
after imaging Jupiter, I turned my attention to the planet Mars. I have shot some images of Mars using this telescope before, but this time it was quite different. Not only were the viewing conditions bad this time, the size of the planet was also a lot smaller. According to my Stellarium app, the size that evening was 9 arc seconds. When Mars is closer, the size can be up to 25 arc seconds. Moreover, the part visible was only 85%, which makes it even smaller. There appeared to be thin clouds or air turbulence making it flicker as well. I will try to capture Mars when the viewing conditions are better. Here is a cropped high resolution image of Mars captured under these conditions. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. I will make more tests using various telescopes in coming videos. Until then, good luck with your imaging and have a nice week.